Hello tires, uh, today we're going to be tying a uh, caddis and before we start I want to show you how I prepare uh, the wings on it. I take a mottled oak turkey feather and I cover it, coat it I should say, with uh, Softex on both sides. You just, I just dip my finger in and just bring it up like this on both sides, stick it in a piece of styrofoam, let it dry and then I cut segments out like this that will fit perfectly for your wing, which looks like this. Okay, dubbing is of your choice, any color. Uh, they're tan, olive, all different sorts of olives and tans, actually. All right, let's get started. Take a little bit of dubbing. Uh, I found over the years that less is best when you're applying dubbing. And what I do is I start halfway down and I wrap to the back and move forward up to where your tying spot is, your wing. And I apply a little bit more here, like such, nice and thin. And I work backwards. And that locks it in, nice. And you also can fill in any uneven spots. And once you get to that spot, you wrap forward a little bit, and you can see how one spot locks each other one in, so you get a nice, tight body that's got a perfect shape to it. Once that is done, it's a simple fly, you put your wing on. And like I said, the wing is made of model oak turkey. It does have a good and a bad side. Once you start using it, you'll, you'll see which one is right. All right, so you just lay this on the t top of the shank of the hook, and you wrap this on with four or five good wraps, pull the top up, trim this off, and then wrap to the eye. That really secures the wing. Okay, the next step is to turn it over in your vise. And this way, you can make sure the wing is on both sides perfectly even, and you can finish it off. You pinch the wing, fold it in half, and make a little cut like that on an angle. And you'll see that it'll stick together because of the soft text. But now you can see how that looks like a folded wing of the fly. You got that nice little V in there. And then the next step is finishing off with a hackle. Now, one of the things that I found over the years is that because a caddis is a uh, flat wing, a, a down wing fly, I like to put the hackles on a little bit smaller than normal so it does lay flat on the surface of the water. Let me do this. Normally, Three good wraps will do it on a caddis, like such. Bring this up, a couple of wraps to secure it. A little trim, like that. Whip finish, and you have a real nice caddis. Now, in these little short clips that Ted and I are doing, I'm going to start incorporating a little bit more than just the fly tying. I'm going to also add how we should fish these flies. And a caddis sometimes will skitter real, real fast over the water. So it, it's not necessary to float it directly perfect in the current like you do a regular mayfly. This could be skittered. Um, it, it's also a good fly to teach somebody how to fish because beginners have a hard time with line control. And the uh, they can't stop it from dragging. This one here, if it drags, they will catch fish, so they'll be successful. Also with this fly, you'll see that at the end, when your line is coming around to bend, it if you tug, if you're a right-hander, you tug the line with your left hand, it'll sink it about two or three inches under the surface, and you can use it as an emerging pattern. It works just as well. All right, so happy tying and happy fishing. Mm -hmm.